This is a dog whistle. This discussion is designed to prime you into the belief that behavior is inherited. If you've ever interacted with like openly racist people, this framing should be familiar to you. This is 1350, but they're doing it for dogs. This is how you get people familiar with arguments and thinking it's valid in one place to make it valid in another. Matt Walsh may have strong opinions about pit bulls. I don't know. But this is definitely trying to sell you on a worldview. In the comments, Matt was mocked for having no evidence behind his claim and someone presented this data. And look, oh my god, pit bulls, they, they do so many of the deaths. And if you throw this into Google, you get on this website, which is, I believe, an, an insurance or lawsuit site. And then you find the chart that they posted. It goes to dogbites.org, an organization basically designed from the bottom up to make pit bulls look bad. Reliable source, right? There's a very important thing to note about the numbers that they use to make these charts. These numbers are from news reports. And, more importantly, the breed is determined via pictures. There's a tiny problem with this method. It's that people suck at identifying dog breeds through visual identifiers. This study is specifically about pit bulls and they found that people couldn't agree on what a pit bull was and the definition for what a pit bull was changed based on the region that you asked the question. And if you move on to people who are supposed to be good at this, this is their job, people who run the shelters, they also are terrible at visually identifying what is a pit bull? So what we're relying on to say that pit bulls are more dangerous is an organization's recounting of news reports identifying dogs via visual identification. The least reputable way to do it. And there's also the social connotation that goes along with pit bulls. Matt Walsh says it himself. Anytime you hear about a child being mauled to death by a dog, you already know it's a pit bull without even having to check the details. This is how you get the statistics that Matt is trying to say makes pit bulls more dangerous, which is something you should consider uh, when people like Matt are expanding the conversation about genes and behavior. Mm -hmm. keep, keep that in your mind that this is not just about dogs. This discussion is not purely dog related, so all of these question marks I'm throwing back at it should apply to wider discussions on society. Please, for the love of God, I'm not just talking about pit bulls. You also find that when studies are done on if breed-specific bans affect the rate of dog bites in regions, uh, the answer is no, it does not. One interesting thing that you find is that if there is ever a, a group of dogs that is actually considered aggressive to humans it's small dogs and that's because people are less likely to hunker down and train them because they're not a very big threat okay class so what have we learned one is that genes do not determine actions two is that when someone comes to you and starts talking about aggressive breeds and breeding and pit bulls and getting this discussion going on about DNA and aggression. Maybe they're trying to sell you on a wider worldview that has larger consequences than you not liking pit bulls. If you get radicalized into being openly racist because you don't like pit bulls, I'm going to be very upset. Three is that a lot of the aggressiveness that comes from pit bulls is due to certain situations where there is they have not been trained properly them being in social situations that leads to them being abused and having horrible relationships with humans which makes them more aggressive towards us and five the social expectations of pit bulls has led to a vicious feedback loop that makes people assume that when violence is done by a dog it was done by a pit bull 
late game bonus fact socially pit bulls are largely associated with uh, black people and have been for several years now decades and decades and decades and that also feeds into the understanding that they are aggressive unruly untrainable dogs